what is intelligence? What is natural intelligence and what is artificial intelligence? How can our understanding of one help us understand the other? Our mission is to understand intelligence in natural and artificial systems. What that means is that we want to be able to describe how studying the brain might help AI and machine learning and how AI and machine learning might actually help our understanding of the brain. So the Institute is really bringing together experts from a pretty diverse set of fields. So we definitely have computer scientists focusing in AI and machine learning, neuroscientists, really anyone who's excited to work at this intersection and are willing to chat with each other to advance the field. The important thing to know about the Chemner is that this is fundamentally a human endeavor. This is a community of people who are brilliant. We have faculty that we're recruiting new to Harvard. We're bringing together existing faculty already at Harvard. We're recruiting research fellows, which I see as sort of the intellectual lifeblood of the Institute. When it comes to scientists speaking to each other in a collaboration, it's people trying to build something together. So if you're studying natural and artificial intelligence together in the same space, you're allowing people to come from their different areas and have a much clearer idea of what we're studying, which is intelligence, whether it be artificial, natural. You want the fortuitous hallway discussions that people are working on a problem, someone walks by, they chat with each other, and we see what arises because when you have curious people working on interesting problems, uh, good things will happen. The concept of bringing all of these different disciplines together is not unique. I think the thing that sets us apart from other people who are trying to better understand intelligence, I think it's the size of the compute cluster that we're building. We are making a major investment in GPUs, these processors that are the primary required tool to be able to do this research. We need to have that infrastructure in place so that somebody that wants to ask really deep questions that require a lot of computing will come here as opposed to go to industry to do it. It's unique in that we have computational resources to study some of the big questions, uh, but as we're in academia, we are going to have it be open source to the community. And what this means is that the code and data is going to be freely available so others can replicate the work. We know that science works best when data is shared, when other people can probe it and validate it and then build on it. We don't really know where our understanding of the brain is going to be in 10 years. We don't really know what capabilities AI and ML systems are going to have in 10 years. But we know that they're going to be tremendous and we're going to have incredible advances in it. The Kempner is the place where these advances are going to happen.